Hello again and welcome to a new video. This is our 69 plate registered September 2019 BMW X3. This is the M40i automatic. Now this car produces around about 350 brake horsepower with its straight six petrol engine. The car's covered 24,173 miles with full BMW service history. And uh, the customer, the previous customer was actually quite particular. It's had a couple of um, extra oil changes. He didn't like to wait to the full length of the service interval. So they were done early as well. So it's got some additional servicing as well. Now the car has come up really nicely. The Sophistico Grey has got a lot of uh, metallic in it and it really shines when we come in close. But I'm just going to bring you down and show you down the side of the car on this side. We've got these beautiful, I think they're the 718 uh, 21 inch alloy wheels with cerium grey metallic which is a slightly sort of bronzy colour or goldy colour. If I bring you around the front, we've also got uh, the Maxton splitter on the front with the black gloss grills. We've got adaptive LED lights. You can see just how clean the front of the car is. I think there's one little chip, which I'll show you in a minute, which has been touched in and we'll finish that off um, once uh, we finish the video. We'll do it again on Tuesday. And it's a little chip just below. We've got the 360 cameras. In fact, you can't really see it very well on that. It's just in a reflection. It's very small. I'm just being fussy. All of the headlights as well, all in really nice condition. No pitting on them. Really lovely lenses on these. A bit more detail to them. As I say, you've got the adaptive LED lights. So, what they'll, those lights will do, using the cameras up on the windscreen inside the car, they will adjust the headlights individually to light up the road as much as possible without blinding traffic coming from the other direction. And the high beam assist will also dip the headlights as well. If we look down this side of the car, again, just look how lovely those panels are. No ding dents, really, really nice. And we've got the cameras up on the top here that read the road in the light conditions. All of the roof is in really nice condition. We've got the black gloss rails, mirrors, all the window frames are in black gloss. They just come back out gently see the car from this side now i've driven this car for the last probably week and i'm pretty jealous to be honest with you it's such a nice car to drive we've got park assist so the car will self park we've got the m sport brakes look at those wheels really nice looking set of wheels and then if we come, so part of the 360 cameras, you've got cameras just up on the wing mirror there. We've got keyless entry on this car as well. And then the back wheel there, look, all in beautiful condition. And we'll move around to the back. All of the rear light lenses have been Machine polished as well. Those lovely twin exhausts at the back there. If I just move around, you see there's no damage on the tailgate, no dents, no dings. I come down low. The exhaust pipes, pipes are, uh, are finished in a sort of, uh, it's like a black, I forget what the finish is called, but uh, all in lovely condition. If you look at the back bumper, really, really bright, clean. 
all around the filler cap. No scratches. We come up onto the roof at the back here as well. We've got the sun protection glass at the back of the vehicle. I'll just show you these two wheels while we're here. It's the rear one. And the front one. And then we'll come back out. So a very practical family car, or just such a nice car to drive on your own, is very, very planted. It has the adaptive M Sport suspension and the M Sport differential. And uh, like I say, it's a very comfortable ride as well. That adaptive suspension has the ability to um, adjust the fluid in the shock absorber to give a softer ride or firm the ride up. You can also uh, adjust those settings for comfort and sport and the steering weight. It's got the variable sport steering. I'll just bring you up onto the bonnet. Now, if you look at the finish and that sparkle, Sophistico grey is a bit deeper, quite a bit deeper the mineral grey, a much nicer colour, but no, no chipping or anything. I think there was a couple of very small, that I'll bring you over, I think they were over this side. There was a couple of very, I think, just around here, they were very small and we've, oh, it's so small, you can just see it, just to the left of that reflection from the light, it's like a dot. And that was it. We've touched it in, dry, waited for it to dry, applied lacquer, allowed that to dry, and then flat and polished it so it barely shows. If we come down low, you can see all the black gloss trim around the LED fog lights, and then that really subtle, or maybe not so subtle, <laughs> um, Maxton splitter at the bottom. Now you'll notice we've got the radar in the center of that grill at the bottom. That's because this car also has the adaptive cruise, con uh, cruise control with stop function. So you can set the distance behind the car in front and it will maintain that dif uh, distance. It's also got the lane keeping. Oh, bring the key a bit closer put my hand in and opens up. So basically, if you want to shut the door, there's a little grill bit on the top here. Press that, the doors lock. Put your hand in, they unlock. Ah, another feature. I'm gonna point them out randomly as I go around the car, because I'm rem remembering them. The little triangle on the wing mirror, that's part of the driving assist assistance that the car has. That's the blind spot monitor. And like I say, having driven the car, really handy on the motorway, they flicker yellow or light up yellow when there's a car on the outside of you. Now, all of the door cards are in really nice condition. There's no scuffs on them at all. We've got the Venasca black leather with the gray stitching and the, I think it's called Romba finish at the top here. And then all of the lighting, there's sort of three steps to the lighting. There's the top here, under lighting here, and then some down in the bottom under the armrest there. And you can set different colors for the lighting. There we go. M40i seals, all of the seals in lovely condition. We've got electric seats with um, bolster inflation. So the little rocker button at the front will inflate the bolsters either side of the seat to hold you in. The, cent uh, the front part of the seat pulls forward from some added support. The headrest pop forward and backwards as well. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system, which I'll just show you up on the side here. And we've got additional speakers up on the top of the dash. There are more speakers underneath the seat in the back. I think there's about 16 or more speakers in the car. 
but beautiful condition, like I say. Coming close on this side, you see there's no scratches to any of the metal trim. Let's see if I can get that better in focus. There we go. And all the black gloss. This all lights up under here. We've got uh, wireless charging just under there as well. I'll show you more of that when we come round. So going to the back. Again, the door card, all in really nice condition. No damage on there. Puddle lights at the bottom. And while we're talking about puddle lights, there are also, they're almost like torches that shine out. Can you see that just in there? What that does, it, it almost gives you like an angel wing effect on the floor. Obviously the lighting's too bright in here for you to see it, but um, very impressive when you open the doors at night. Backs of the front seats, as you can see, no nasty scratches. We've got rear climate control in the back, which the, obviously the ignition's not on, but you can set that in the back and put it on auto. We've got Isofix in the rear, all of the leather in really nice condition. Center armrests, the center headrest drops down for better visibility out the back. Now you'll notice how far, if I zoom in, you see the seats is it's sitting a little bit further back. This has got the electronic, let's just zoom out back there, um, automatic adjustment. So you can adjust by pulling this lever, if I pull it, you'll see this seat comes forward and then to put it back you need to pull that lever and push it back so you can adjust the backrests in the back if people want to sit back a bit and relax or you want to just create a little bit more space in the back of the vehicle now because we have uh, comfort access we can swoop our foot under the back of the bumper and the boot will open up automatically. Now I just want to show you along the top edge of this bumper. Because these are the places where cars get damaged. And the whole point of this video is to show off really just how nice our cars are. All the rubbers and the trims, all the carpets in the back. You can release the seats pulling this lever just on the left here. And then you've got some little hooks here for carrier bags, extended storage strap there. That's the adjustment for the seat, which is an optional extra. We've got a 12 volt socket there. And these runners allow you to adjust how far back you want those straps to come all LED lights in the boots as well. And then the pull out parcel shelf, which if I just pull that, you can see, let's try and get that in focus a bit better, but there's no damage on there at all. Put that back in. That can all come out as well if you need to put something large in the boot. So really nice and clean in there. And again, because we've got the comfort access, we can either close the boot at the back or we can close and lock it at the same time. All under here, again, no nasty scuffs or anything. It's just a bit of reflection there. There's a bit of dust on there. And again, if I swoop my foot under the back, down comes the tailgate. Just open this up and show you all nice and clean in there. There's also, um, generally, yeah, we've got LED lighting just under the handles there as well. And again, starting with the door card. Really nice condition. 
And we've got some big holders in there for like bottles of drink, etc. All of the door shuts, un uh, unmarked, no scratches. And that's the release for this side. So you can put it, I think that came fully out. I think it's a variable adjustment on there. I pulled that side out a little bit further than the other side. All lovely and clean in there. Floor lighting, etc. And then driver's side, just flip those lights off. I'll put them on also, actually. There we go. And again, driver's door card. No damage. Anti-dazzle folding mirrors as well, which will fold in when you press and hold the key fold. But I think on these later ones, you can actually set that to uh, set them to fold in automatically as well. Memory seat position uh, one and two for two different drivers. And then if you look at the door shuts all around there, really nice condition. All of the seats. Again, fully electric. The extended storage gives you a little cubby hole at the front there. You've got your auto lights, parking lights, fog lights, etc. We've got a heated steering wheel, little button down here, mode button, and then the adaptive cruise control and the lane keeping switch just at the top there. Just before I jump in, I'll just try and give you a view of the interior. A bit frustrating with the light shining in from the skylights. Okay, let's jump in. Now, I've got the key. So this car also came with the display key. So I'm just gonna start the car up. Let's turn that radio down. So we have the, the display key here, which charges in the car. Let's put it around the right way. So I'm just gonna show you the reverse camera and the 360 camera. So as you can see on the right here, we've got the lines to indicate where you're reversing back into. We've got the 360 camera over here. We've also got options uh, for the self parking at the top here. We press on tow bar. It will guide you in to a tow bar if you've got one fitted. This one here then gives you the front view, looking at the front from there. We turn off. Now, this is the clever bit. If we press on here, we can then, I'm just trying to remember, ah, oh, move around and see the vehicle. Oh, it's at the top. What have I done? Okay, let's just try this. It would happen to me, wouldn't it, when I'm trying to show you. There we go. Now if I do, let's try this again. Ah, oh, sorry, that's the one I should have clicked on. And then we can view all the way around the car, like so. Very clever how it reverses the camera image. And then we can look down at the back. front and there's a little bit more to it than that but I'm running short of time and I just wanted to point all of that out for you so we'll add this into the video thank you so as I was saying before my phone linked to the car with the Apple CarPlay so I'll have to link these videos 
we can see on here. This has still got the protective film over the, the face of the, the key, the screen here. But we can flick through and see the range, set the um, air uh, fan, etc. So that's the display key. And that you can sit just down here. Um, windows closed, etc. It's saying on there. So that's now charging on that panel. You've got a little USB there as well. All nice and clean down here. Now we've got the eight speed gearbox and we've got the buttons for the camera, hill descent, auto hold, and then our adaptive eco pro comfort and sport modes there so i'm just going to bring you back up here for a second we're going to do so there's the mileage 24173 now this car also if i bring up mode just on the left uh, the right here sorry we can flick through the radio stations we can go as am music collection is the hard drive built into the unit there's your dab channels through there and when the phone is linked you can link up to your phone here as well so you've got all that on there and then if we go into the eco pro mode you'll see that the lens uh, sorry the instrument cluster is all changed to blue we come across to the screen over here Let's just get back in there we can then set standard for eco pro what this essentially will do is put the engine program into uh, a more efficient mode we can then configure it individually and we can set you'll see down here it's got 90 percent if we change that speed down to well let's put it down to the speed limit 94 percent if you go down to about 50 miles an hour it's got it will run at about 100 percent coasting allows the car to coast as it would suggest so when you take your foot off the brake uh, sorry off the accelerator uh, there won't be any engine braking it will just roll on we can then set the climate control so you can set the heating of the seats to either maximum or eco pro will just bring that level down the same with the air conditioning the lighting as well around the car route ahead assist so this will give you options for up and coming um, layout of the road to be more efficient and then we can change the the damping of the shocks from comfort to sport we'll leave it in comfort the steering again comfort to sport if we go into comfort mode this is a balance setting so it's a preset setting if we then go into sport we've got standard sport We've got Sport Plus, which turns off some of the um, traction control, etc. And then if we go into the individual setting, in fact, these are the options. Again, the damping, sport and comfort, steering the same. And then we have engine, uh, comfort, sport and sport plus. Now when you're in sport plus, it definitely holds it down through the gears and also when you're slowing down it will downshift to give you engine braking as well so we'll leave that on that we'll leave that on there for now uh, then the transmission itself you can select the same so essentially what it will do is hold it down through the gears the gears changes will be more responsive to the uh, throttle of the car and comfort for a more slicker um, softer change Let's leave that on sport and then you can reset all that there now if we go into menu we've obviously got the um, map that's gone to the map so we've got a large map and if we come down on this side we can change the map views now if we want to what we can do is set some of these onto the buttons down here for example you can see at the top just by running my finger along the top of those buttons now we can assign that view to there 
and if we come down map views again and put in direction of travel as if you were looking straight down which is quite handy when you're in a very built up area we can set that to number six and then rather than having to go in there you can just flip to number seven and it will change the view you can also uh, select telephone numbers so you can press number one and dial your partner etc or business colleague or whoever it might be that you need to speak to regularly now there are lots of functions in here so I'm going to try not to uh, put all our music Bluetooth audio streaming and like I say this has got the Bluetooth and and, and I think it's got Android um, but give me a call just so I can confirm that I'm pretty sure at this stage it will have the Android as well. That's for the sound for the Harman Kardon sound system, settings, audio settings. And obviously with the touchpad we can write as well. So if we were, um, if we go into destination, oh, sorry, not route. Um, let's go into nav, sorry. Address input. We can write with our finger on the top of the iDrive wheel oh, three, and a space is a line across like six, so five, five, y. there we go and that gives you destination on there like so um, so we've got media we've done media communication is your phone connective drive this is where you can download apps we've got Amazon Alexa in there the weather you can flick into here to see the weather and uh, news weather radar gives you a live view of the current clouds etc always takes a little while to load up that one because it's live data there you go rain so if you're going to play golf or something and then you can select on this side rainfall etc start stop come out of there notifications right my vehicle this is um there's quite a few bits in here so there's all the lighting on the car interior lighting this is where we can change all of the colors as you can see you can have a mixture of colors or one color throughout we'll put it on blue for now dim it for night driving and then your exterior lights one touch turn signal welcome lights door handle lighting and uh, welcome lights come out of there your doors <clears throat> and also the tailgate you can set whether it opens both or quite often I don't know if it's in this one there are plenty of autistics in uh, acoustic sorry Fold, there's the folding mirrors when locking. And if we come out of there, intelligent safety. This is also operated by this button here. So we've got pedestrian alert, which is active. So if someone's gonna walk out, we've got the collision warning, which you've got on early, medium or late. Lane change warning as well. Now also on the steering wheel here you'll notice we've got this button here and I'm pretty sure this is the one that's to activate the cruise control but also I think it will pull you into the lane if you defer out of it I think it's lane change assist but like I say confirm that when we steering wheel vibration the strength of it for the warning speed limit assist attentiveness assistance so if you're getting tired it senses um, the, the the driving the steering wheel motion but the parking now we've also got active emergency intervention here so when you're reversing if you turn this one on if someone is behind the vehicle basically it will automatically break for you so you don't run them cross traffic alert with parking view activated, acoustic and visual warnings are emitted at driveways, exits, road junctions with restricted view. So, and then this one I've never really used, but I'm guessing um, if there's certain areas that you want the panoramic view to come on, it will do it by using the GPS. 
and that's all your driving experience controls you can have which we did earlier so that's fine to come out of there climate comfort so temperature adjustment for the rear climate automatic air recirculation seat and steering wheel so basically in this setting here we can set a temperature um, for example it's set at 10 degrees if the temperature falls below um, or around that temperature it will automatically bring on your seat heating you can set it for driver and passenger and your steering wheel heating so lots of features in here let me just come back out um, Let's come down to driving. This is all your display settings, unit sound, and the vehicle status. This is where tire temperatures and bar readings, oil, servicing, all the service history is in there. So as you can see, more services than it was that then was needed basically. And we've just replaced front and rear brake pads. So both front and rear brake pads are brand new. And that's all done under our inspection. Oh, we've lost a bit of... So now I'm pretty sure... I'm not... I'm not too sure. We've got display key. I've got a list in here. There's so much on the car. Now everything should be in the advert but please do give me a call if I've missed something and you wanted to double check. Let's try and get this in better focus. And then in here, we've got all the books. Sorry, it's very bright today. I'm just gonna quickly check on this list. So we have, let's try and get this in focus. Let's put it over here for a second. Uh, seat heating, electric seats, electric backrests. Um, comfort, display key, I think we've covered pretty much everything. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll pull the bonnet. There's a really nice set of uh, M Performance mats in the car as well. I don't know if you can see that. They fit really nicely. I'll show you underneath the bonnet. So, this is such a sweet sounding engine. So, I think it's around about 260, 280 kilowatt. It's, it's 300 and just short of 350 brake horsepower. Depends where you read these figures. So some people put it down as brake horsepower, and in fact, it's actually PS. I think I've seen some figures quoting 360, but uh, they probably are in real life if you put them on a rolling road the BMWs tend to come up a little bit higher on the power output than what they actually say really nice and clean in there let me just try and get a better there we go it's probably better Really nice, smooth, effortless engine. Let's just pop that down. Now it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? I think we should put it into Sport Plus. Just give it a little tickle. Got a really smooth. So I've obviously left it running with the lights on, which is blinding the camera now. So please give me a call with any questions. It's a lovely vehicle, this. I'll be very happy to have this for myself. And um, We've got lots of different finance options, um, warranty options. You can take up to a four year warranty. Uh, a fraction of what BMW will charge you for their underwritten war uh, warranties that aren't actually specifically with BMW. 
but um, please ask me about those and uh, I'll give you all the details. So thanks for watching and uh, hope to speak to you soon. Take care now. Bye.